It is an ordinary morning at the St. Scholastica Catholic School. Middle grade learners are striving to complete their art project, before the next art class. The art teacher is very strict. And none of the learners, wants to feature in his bad books. St. Scholastica Catholic School honors hard work, commitment, punctuality, and discipline. But for us to fully understand the culture of this school, we must first capture its fundamental history. On February 10, 1981, the Sisters' Convent at Ruaraka was blessed as a formation house by the late Cardinal Maurice Atunga. Young African aspirants from Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Angola and Nigeria were invited. They were later joined with missionaries from Germany, Philippines and South Korea, giving the community a complete international outlook. Sister Chantal Gusta, resumed as the house superior, Sister Imtrude Wagner, was in charge of the house and garden. Sister Magda Lynn Eberhard, was tasked with the responsibility of setting up a kindergarten school. Sister Romera and Sister Fidelis were in charge of the dispensary which would be completed in the following year. My name is Mary Mutua. Joined this school in 1989. I've been working here and I'm the head of the department kindergarten section. My name is Lucia Radin. Mrs. Lucia Radin. I've been in this school more than 30 years. Uh, actually, the school started in 1981, and the teachers who started the school, those who are here while the school started, they have already retired, and now I'm the one who has served here for long. The sisters started two schools in two different locations. Phase one was in Mother Ray, and was meant to serve the slum children. Phase 2 was started at Roraka, along the busy Thika Highway. We stayed and then the building of the school where we were in Madare, in fact myself I was in Madare. That is where I started. When I was employed I was taken there. That school, there were children from the slum and the classes there, they were five. We had even more children than the ones who were here because here the catchment area was only survey. NYS, na area 4, na Madari Mendo. Those are the catchment area for phase 1. Phase 2, the slum itself. All the kids there, they, are, they were from the slum. And the numbers were big. And another thing, some parents were so much involved in the school because they were getting sponsorship. If their children are performing well, they could. the missionary Benedictine sisters were educating them. Even now, up to today, they are doing it. The Phase 2 school in the slum experienced a lot of setbacks like water shortage, problems with sewer system, and rampant vandalism of property. Unfortunately, the Phase 1 project had to shut down after the Benedictine brothers requested for their land back. And all the learners of the Phase 2 school had to transfer to the school in Roraka. So the school that was there down was brought here, plus the teachers. But the challenge that was there because it was we had no transport, no vehicle for transport like the ones people are using now. Eh? Schools are using. So we had challenges because the children dropped; they could not come up. But there were teacher who teachers who gave themselves. They were coming up with the children in the morning and going with them, crossing the road, holding hands with the children. They were, in fact, they were bringing about 30, almost 30 children down from there and coming here in the evening, the same. So you see that cooperation and they, how they were working wholeheartedly with that passion. 
So we continue until Sister Emily came in. The school picked. She, we started with another private van that was here. The, after using the van which brought so many, many children from Madare North, Area 4, Area 3, Area 2, we started having children so many. And so we picked and we started a pre-unit and that is how the primary school was started. The once modest institution has grown to be a leading light in offering quality education. St. Scholastica Catholic School has witnessed numerous achievements under the leadership of the Benedictine administrators like Sister Magda, Sister Edissa, Sister Josephine, Sister Emily, and currently Sister Lucy. My name is Sister Lucy Wanjiro Ndungu, OSB. I am the school administrator since January 2018. In our region, the Kasara sub-county, we are well known. The Saint Scholastica, we are among the giants. We are always in the podium positions in matters academic. So they know that Saint Scholastica is a giant when it comes to mathematics and science, definitely. Like in KCP uh, 2020, 2020 yes, we were position one in the whole of Kasarani and Bakasi sub-county. Uh, and also even in English. So we are well known, we are academic giants in this region. And even in the county, we are position eight um, in KCP 2021, uh, out of 3,000 something schools. So then even when it comes to quizzes, we are always scooping a lot of awards. Yes, yeah, so everyone wants to come to our school to get to ben benchmark and see what we do differently. So we are always open, we have had many schools here. And then the other thing is embracing of digital literacy. And that is one thing that is also very, very outstanding. As I said, we have invested a lot in all these things and we thank God for providing for us. So the digital learning, uh, which is a great component of the CBC, we had even started before CBC started because you find the current grade six they're in 844, but they have the tablets, so we, we, they are able to learn digitally. My name is Geoffrey Ichwara. I am the school head teacher. I can say uh, St. Scholastica Catholic School, uh, we are there because uh, I think it must be three to four years when uh, we took our teachers uh, for a training. Uh, that was at Camelville and uh, a year later we thought that was not enough. We invited a trainer from KICD who came to our school and we were able to be taken through uh, Mata CBC. And I want to thank uh, the Missionary Benedictine Sisters for giving our teachers that opportunity to be trained and I can um, perfectly say that uh, our teachers are from play group, PP1, PP2, then grade one through five, they have implemented a CBC fully. Uh, I know there is a challenge because there are teachers who are handling 844, that's from standard six through eight. Uh, they are juggling between the two systems, but with time, I believe we shall be there fully and it is a system that we have no choice, we have to embrace.
I've invested heavily, for example, in music, in hope science, in art, in ICT, in um, if it's ball games. We have invested a lot. So, uh, like for example, we even have professional uh, professionals who come to teach our learners on foot, matters football. Okay. And then uh, for Taekwondo also we have professionals. So we have invested a lot in all that. And that's why we shine. That's why we shine. And so for example, our learners, um, the science club for example, has been very, very, is very, very vibrant in this school. And it has taken our learners to different places in the world. So um, learners are able to conduct research within the school like uh, last year they were able to conduct a research on the mosquitoes around our school okay so they were very busy collecting data even going to the hospital okay and that took them even to the usa they have been recognized globally that like even last year during the world malaria day the they were there to do a presentation to dignitaries to dignitaries and very prominent people in the world yeah this year also uh we had the honor or the privilege being a model school uh the ministry of agriculture uh, works with us uh, and they invited us during the launch of the 4k club in primary school so we were able to do a stem presentation to the president and he was very 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 much impressed by what goes on so we invest heavily and then we have teachers who are committed to that to build in our learners yeah to build in our learners so they are the ones who make it possible because when i'm in the office i cannot do much all right i only support them um, but then the teachers themselves they have themselves they have embraced and they really are into building um, our learners both academically and character in all ways yeah. it is now four decades since inception of this school and thousands of children have passed through the care of the benedictine sisters education has liberated them it is now their turn to plow back to the society anne was one of the pupils in the pioneer class she is now plowing back to the society, here at St. Scholastica Catholic School. My name is Anne Nyambura. I work at St. Scholastica Catholic School and I am a secretary. I work at the admin department. Uh, personally, I'm so grateful to the Benedictine Sisters. One, because um, I schooled here. Uh, the values that they instilled in me have worked well for me, have contributed to who I am today because even after finishing my school here i still came back and worked here and that is why i'm here at uh, the business office so i still work with the sisters they're good people and uh, they've helped me to grow they've nurtured me they've been accommodative to me saint scholastica catholic school takes a holistic learning approach that activates the learner's intellect imagination talent and emotions to produce a comprehensive learning experience here at St. Scholastica Catholic School, we learn about coding. Coding will help me to become a software engineer when I grow up. My name is Shekai Natundo. I am in grade 8. Here we have my sister, Hallelujah Tundo. She's in grade 4. And my brother, Hosanna Tundo, he's in grade, he's in grade 7. And we are all artists. When I was in grade 2, when I walked past the school hall and I saw how these other artists were drawing their things so perfectly, I became interested in art and I decided to start drawing. And then I decided to introduce my brother and then who later helped me introduce my sister. My name is Tessie Walerimo Kamoro and I am in grade 3A. These tablets have fun games like kids mathematics, animal puzzle, super book, Bible for kids, and also mat matching. John chapter 14, 14, it says, Keep in my name, when you ask for anything, I will do it. 
Okay, my name is Teacher Sarah Wanjiro Getahi. I joined this school in 1987. Then in 1989, I went for college. I have done Montessori method. Then I came back. And since 1990, I've been working in this school until now. And we have grown spiritually and academically. Like now, every first week of the month, we usually have our mass. All of us together as a family, the kindergarten and the primary. And the, every, that is in the, in the afternoon at 2 p.m. And each and every child, they bring offering and offertory. These really help us. We have children who are needy children. And what the children bring together, we gather together and we are helping. Sister is helping around 200 families. So we distribute that food to different families after the mass. And we are happy with what we are doing and we tell God, we thank God. Saint Scholastica Catholic School has celebrated its 40 year anniversary in 2022. This celebration was to usher in a new phase of the school's evolution. Saint Scholastica Catholic School is looking forward to roll out junior secondary education before decline of the year 2023. The evidence makes it evident that the school will continue to grow infinitely.